Good morning, beautiful people. We are on a quest to cross Europe from the southernmost point to the northernmost point in 50 days. And today it is day three. But first, let's get ready. Show everyone how you're ready. One, two, three. I'm ready. We are on a quest to cross Europe in 50 days, all the way from the southernmost point, a tiny island in Greece called Gavdos, all the way to the northernmost point, Nordkap, in Norway. But that is not all. There is absolutely no planes allowed. And in order to use trains, buses or ferries along a route, we must first earn coins by completing challenges and avoid roadblocks. But more on that later. Oh my god, so we made it to northern Greece yesterday. If you're wondering why there was no day two video, it was because there's a travel day, but I am going to be updating you on all other kinds of social media, including shorts here on YouTube. Apollo! Apollo really wants to run around, but I'm gonna find a better spot to update you. What did you know about Thessaloniki? Uh, not much. <laughs> why? No, 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 look. Oh, okay, are you taking a video of mommy? Okay, good. I'll pull us behind the camera. So Thessaloniki oh, is affectionately known as the co-capital of Greece because it's the second largest city and the capital of Macedonia, which is the region in northern Greece. And it also happens to be my hometown. So I want to say that the challenges here are going to be easy, but I'm not 100% sure about that either. What do you think, Apollo? Apollo? Oop. Okay, we're going to find a spot to read out the challenges for Thessaloniki and hopefully get cracking because we only have 200 coins left and as i said before getting out of here might just be one of the most difficult parts of this entire trip so let's go at certain cities along our way there are challenges complete challenges help us earn coins as we need to purchase transportation however we can only see what these challenges are once we are within 50 kilometers of our destination Along the map, there are also a number of roadblocks. There are rules we must follow in order to move through the route, so planning is very important. At any point along the route, we can complete power challenges, but if we fail a power challenge, we also lose 200 coins. Lastly, there's the power-up store. We can purchase power-ups at any point as long as we have enough coins, but there are some mysteries in there. Okay, so for each letter in the word for Saloniki, there's a, a challenge to complete. Each challenge is worth 100 points, but if we complete the entire word, we're gonna make 400 points. And that's what we're trying to do this morning, because what Apollo was affectionately not letting me tell you is that for each letter in the word Thessaloniki, there's going to be a challenge. Each challenge is worth 100 coins, but if we get every single challenge in the word, we get an extra 400 coins. Now this sounds pretty simple, but Thessaloniki actually has 12 letters. So it's gonna be a lot of challenge times ahead of us. Thanks. Really? Okay, just as Apollo was having a bit of a breakdown, we managed to complete the first challenge. <laughs> Yay! This is K for Kaluri, which is a iconic bagel, thinly stretched bagel, I would say, that comes from Thessaloniki. And you will find little uh, shopkeepers like this that put them in a little, uh, you know, cubicle and just go around. It's very cute. Very iconic as well. Apollo, how is it? Is it nice and fluffy? Okay, so we're off to challenge number two, which is L for Lefkov Spiros, which means 
White Tower. Now this is the most iconic monument in all of Thessaloniki. This is what you've seen in all the postcards and it is right on the waterfront. So it's a beautiful spot to hang out. And inside is not the museum but the tower itself because the history of it is pretty brief in a way. But it was one of the lookouts for the city's walls. So everything straight behind me. See that building right there? This used to be the wall of the city. So everything over here used to be Thessaloniki. Everything over here used to be outside of Thessaloniki. Also, there's an infamous story about it. It used to be called the Red Tower because it used to be used as a prison at some stage and all the blood. Yeah, actually just use your imagination. Just use your imagination. Kids are watching this, sorry guys. Now, another thing I'm gonna tell you guys because I like you and I don't want you getting scammed is there's a lot of scam artists hanging out around this monument just like any other famous European monument during the summer so just be careful so I think we can do one more challenge for this morning before Apollo needs to take his little beauty sleep and we might just do the most delicious one but we have a bit of a look so let's go Okay, we had to have a small intermission because Apollo made a new friend, but we're here! Hey, to a baguette, Bacalo! We got the goods. Now let's go home. Well, hello again! Apollo, can you help me with this challenge? For tea is for taking lease. This is pretty much the one must do in Thessaloniki. Okay, let's show everyone. Are you ready? One, two. Oh. Now, this fluffy, bready goodness. Apollo! Okay, now this fluffy, delicious goodness is called Tsure, which is a soft. Apollo! Apollo! Okay. Okay, have it. Okay, Apollo's gonna do the taste test because before I say anything else. Yummy! Mm. Okay. Oh my god. I will have to tell you the rest after I clean up everything because Apollo cannot have any more of this or he's gonna go into like a um, sugar coma of some description. Hello beautiful people, we had a little rest to rest as every afternoon and I have a feeling that I didn't do the Turek the Green Lace Month justice. So we're heading back for you to experience the full glory of what it really is like to experience this. And also to talk about the strategy for the rest of the evening. Because if we want to get through 12 challenges in two days, we're gonna need some strategy. Now, a real important thing to note is that Thessaloniki is actually not a touristy city at all. Walking around, you pretty much hear Greek only, and most tourists don't even have anything in Northern Greece on the radar. But it is a city with a lot of history, a lot of food. It's actually known as the foodie capital of Greece. And one of those like little urban legends that you learn when you take a walking tour of a new city. I want to show you my favorite one of my hometown. And it is, it is challenge number I, which stands for Ipodromio. Now, it will look very unassuming at first, but just wait for it. Okay, so here we are on the old hypodrome. If you notice the street has one little prong, two little prongs. Fun fact, this is where my grandparents live, right there, one of those buildings. Okay, this is really dirty actually. It's kind of like the student-y part of town, so it can be a little bit dirty, but I'm gonna show you where the real secret lies. Now, we're gonna talk about the creation of the city of Thessaloniki a little bit later, because it's part of another challenge, of course. But for now, I want to show you a little bit of history from its Roman era. A lot of semi-basement little shops here. 
it's known as a pretty alternative neighborhood. But we are actually heading to the supermarket. I know. You're just gonna have to trust me with us. Head to the supermarket. Also fun fact, get your water from supermarkets, it's much cheaper. Και αυτό τι ήταν. Υπόδρομο. Τρέχαν τα λόγα. Και ήταν το από κάτω ουσιαστικά. Ναι. Wow. Εδώ είναι ένα πριν από το τώρα. Απ' όλα να. Αυτό είναι πολύ καλό. Δεν είναι τόσο καλό όσο είναι από την Ευρώπη. But if you're from the States, it's pretty cool, right? You just walk into a supermarket and you ask to see some extra stuff. And we just show it to you. And fun fact, we actually have to show it to you, otherwise they would lose their license. And this is what it really used to look like. And you can see how this part right here is kind of underneath. top level where the horses were. Now, like a lot of things in Thessaloniki, this was built during the era of Galerius in the 4th century AD. And another not so fun fact about this is it was the site of a 7,000 people strong rebellion, which ended up very, very unfortunate for the Thessalonians as the Caesar didn't take the rebellion very well, let's say. Just complete challenge number four for the day. Are we doing amazing or what? Also a little extra tip for anyone traveling to Greece in general. When it's hot like this, find the streets that are perpendicular or horizontal, depending on the direction of the city. It's usually perpendicular. And they're all gonna be in the shade during the afternoon, vice versa in the morning. So all the cafes in the streets running through the city like this are just full right now. All the ones on the side, empty. Because believe it or not, we have made it to challenge number five. Apollo! Apollo! <gasps> there we go. Now it's time to do whatever Thessaloniki kid has always done for millennia. Just play with Big Alex. And I will I will tell you how he's relevant to Thessaloniki and the story of what Thessaloniki is. Okay, so Thessaloniki, um, if you break the word down in two, as with most Greek words, you will find that it means actually the victory, Niki, against the Thessalians. It was founded during the reign of uh, King Cassius, which was the precursor to Philip II, who was Billet, Big Alex's dad. Now, Thessaloniki was also the name of Alexander's half-sister, and the mythology around her is pretty wild, although we don't know much about her actual real life. Apollo's running, so I'm just gonna tell you the reason. Now, guys, I'm not joking. Literally, every single child in the last, I don't know, 40 years that this statue has existed has done this. Probably more. Actually, I don't think the statue is only 40 years old. How many years is the statue? Let's put it on the screen right there. How are you finding Big Alex? Okay, he has taken this to mean that it's his very own. Can I sit now? Oh, I can't sit now again. Okay. My feelings are not hurt at all. Okay, are you saying I can sit? Okay, let's see how this one goes. Now there's one more thing to do here and we are gonna get six, which is half, <laughs> for six for today. And we actually might already have enough coins to get to our next destination, but we're really, really pushing it. So we really need to try to get out a little bit more tomorrow as well. The waterfront is truly majestic. If there's little one thing you do, it's just called the waterfront. It stands on for at least ten kilometers there's always a lot of stands that you can buy delicious little treats. Okay, so 
So the last challenge for today is have a stroll at the waterfront at sunset. And at the moment, it is not quite at the sunset yet and it's getting really windy. So I'm gonna take a follow to the playground, one of the many playgrounds that are along the waterfront here. And once that the time comes around, I'm gonna show you how the magic happens. Okay, this is the hour where the magic happens. Sunsets a little bit. It's actually so nice. Almost ready for bed. Apollo has gone to sleep. And I just wanted to catch up with you for a second because today we did the impossible or the highly improbable actually according to me this morning. And we completed six entire challenges which brings up the total to 800 coins. I am so relieved. This might just be enough to get to the next place. Um, there has been, however, a development, which I will let you know of tomorrow because this is actually the kind of thing that might stir up everything. Everything might change after tomorrow. If you haven't already, head to the description below because that's where you'll find our Patreon link. Half of all proceeds for the entire duration of the challenge is going to an amazing Greek charity called The Smile of the Child. They help kids in need and in crisis with food, medical costs, school supplies, and so, so much more. But also when you become our patron, you get behind the scenes footage, you get early access to videos, you get voting rights for challenges, and so much more. And if you become our travel buddy, you will actually get a personal postcard from North Cup when we get there, if we get there, from us. So check that out and see you tomorrow!